So I think that prospecting has become a lost art, a craft that's gone. It seems like we've stopped teaching advisors prospecting and we've replaced it with paid lead services and maybe more commonly book buying. But you know, to paraphrase that great Chinese proverb, give someone a prospect and they have business for a day. Teach someone to prospect and they have business for a lifetime. Learning how to prospect has many, many advantages. And among them, you know, you are independent of someone else's efforts to create your own business. And you do create it. And you create your own clientele, just the kind you want. You know, prospectors also don't have to deal with someone else's business mistakes, as is often found embedded in bot books of business. Prospectors, good prospectors, actually manufacture their own prospect. And that sort of business is sustainable. Now, and this additional confidence also makes business a profitable adventure to people. It becomes exciting, it becomes fun, it becomes something that really has a big payoff. Now, you, of course, you just start with names to create prospects. And, and where do you get these names? Well, you do this by connecting with people. And that means getting face to face, as Ben Feldman saying, said, see the people. You know, George Sigurdsson says the same thing, see the people. This means getting face to face with possible prospects at social events, uh, community events, religious gatherings, sporting events, amateur and professional, charitable events, parties, really anywhere people like you want to talk to congregate. Now, of course, you don't pitch people on the spot. That would be crazy. But you do say hello. You do talk about them. You do say nice things. You do instigate the relationship. You do be, be very positive. And then when you get a chance, record their names on your smartphone. Remember, everyone today who worth talking to pretty much has all their contact information on their LinkedIn profile or on their Facebook page. So you don't have to ask for that anymore. That awkwardness is really gone. So then after, you can email or text them to set up a phone date to set up a breakfast or a lunch, you know, to catch up. Everyone likes free food. And honestly, you can use that as an inducement to meet. I've been doing that for the last, oh, I don't know, 42 years. Business meals are still a thing. And they start you off on the sales process. That thing becomes from name to meal becomes the beginning of a sale. And that is absolutely prospecting. So create your own prospects and you create the best source of business. And all of that work only starts on the street and not in your office. God bless you, and I'll see you again next week.